Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Judge Dread Fridays slash 2000 AD Fridays, whatever I'm going to call it. It's going to happen every Friday. Today we are painting Brother Morgar from the Games Workshop line that came out in 1980s. That's a long time ago. That's what, 40 years? <laughs> it's crazy. This, is, this model is almost as old as I am. Uh, today we are painting Brother Morgar. And as you can see, I've done my usual priming the model black, heavy dry brush of Pallid Witch Flesh, and now I've moved into Crusader Flesh by the Army Painter. I'm going to talk about the character, Brother Morga, during this video. Hopefully you'll see the bottles of paint. If for whatever reason you don't see it and I'm still talking, I will make sure there's some text on the screen to let you know what I'm doing. But who is Brother Morga? Well, he was the leader of the Muti Brotherhood, he lived in the Cursed Earth, and following his adventures against Dread, he is now deceased like many a villain in the 2000A strips. Morgar was an odd and evidently insane tyrant who believed himself as some kind of deity. He was so certain in his own belief that he actually made his followers believe it as well. He's first seen in an abandoned outpost, forcing his followers, Brother Obi and Joby, to test a can of baked beans to ensure it wasn't poisoned. He is then informed by Brother Gamora about the K-21 Killdozer stationed nearby at Mount Rushmore. Morgar quickly leads his convoy to fight the judges, and he attacks with a last saw first, which I believe was a weird spaceship-looking thing that was a giant saw, designed to cut down trees, but this guy had turned it into a very vicious weapon. Uh, Judge Dredd manages to quickly kill the lasso pilot, but the Land Raider module splits off from the Killdozer and is captured by Morgar's forces. Judge Dredd forces the Brotherhood to release their prisoners when he threatens to damage the carving of Morgar on the side of Mount Rushmore. Dredd and the others escape, but Morgar and the Brotherhood quickly follow, eventually coming to a final shootout in the wreckage of a ruined town. Several of the mutants diverge from attacking the judges and turn their attacks against a young psyker named Novar. Dread saves Novar's life and in turn Novar saves his. After, Moga, after Morgar throws a knife at Dread, Novar uses his powers to turn the knife back at its thrower and strikes him in the heart, killing Morgar. Later during the last leg of his journey, Dread loses sight of his companions and begins to hallucinate. Amongst his hallucinations was Morgar, who claimed to have teamed up with many of the foes such as the alien catcher general, Bad, Bob, Booth and even Santanus, the T-Rex. Dread ignores the images, however, and pushes forward on his march. Oof. This guy was pretty cool in the comics. I actually really enjoyed that strip of the Cursed Earth saga. It's quite comical. We're still only on to the, what, the second paint now. We are into, I think it's camo green. That was it. I'm going to use this initially. I think it might be too dark. If it is, I may change this later on. But for now, I'm going to go with this. If it is definitely too dark, it will probably turn out to be orc flesh after I've done a cleanup of the model. But hey, this is to tabletop standard. It's going to be a quick and dirty paint job. So he is the main villain or the main leader of the Muties during the 80s, especially for the RPG game. All the Muties that got made, apart from a couple of the Red Leg Raider ones, they're pretty much all designed to be part of this guy's uh, group. So we've painted a few already. I believe I've got Brother Joby still to go. He has a rifle and a military helmet on. Uh, i trying to think which ones I have now. I've got his brother as well, Brother Obi. He's got a weird top hat and a pair of pistols. I don't have Brother Gamora. I think that is the last one I'm missing. And then I have a model that I used to represent Nova that was from the Mongoose Games range. I may have shown it in previous blog posts. On the off chance you aren't doing it, make sure you're looking at the community posts. I'm posting RPG rules for characters there. I'm also posting them up on my actual website, which is adventureswithpeps.com. Uh, feel free to go check that out. That's a slow grow 
project over there. It's actually my old blogger website that I'm slowly updating to the newer system, correcting spelling mistakes, all that kind of stuff. Hope to put some new content up soon. But there is all my judge dreaders up there, photos, um, not quite all the links to the videos yet. I'm slowly getting there. But yeah, you can definitely see all the figures that I've made backstories for in the Sector 102 setting. So be sure to go check that out. As you can now see, I'm working on the Grim Black, which I'm using on his boots and his pistol handle. It's very rare you'll see me use black. I think it doesn't work as well as I always hope. But now and again, I dig it back out. I am looking at this. I think his trousers are going to dry too dark. I want him to stand out a little bit more than what he currently is. So I am probably going to hit that up with uh, Orc Flesh. It's also at this point I noticed I missed a couple of spots with uh, the Crusader skin tone. So I'm going to go back and fix that. There's just a couple of areas where either the, the primed area has turned a bit aquaphobic and has pushed the paint too light in my opinion. This guy has been out in the cursed earth for a long ass time. He wears a rat on his head and thinks that he's a god. So he's obviously going to definitely have a bit of sunburn going on. So I'm going for a heavier tanned look to this model than I would traditionally do. This guy does not live in the shadows of the mega blocks. He is out in the sun. He is irradiated. He is poisoned. He wears a devil rat on his head. So there's, there's definitely something wrong with this dude. Talking of the rat, it's time to start working on him. So we're going to use the sand golem color. The problem I'm having with this model as I'm painting him, his tones are going to be so similar. Like the sand golem that I'm using for the flesh tone on the rat is obviously going to blend into his actual skin tone, which is a little annoying. And then it's going to be brown on top because most rats are brown in my mind. Then with the dark green, he's going to end up looking a pretty dark character, which is quite weird because I always think of Judge Dredd characters being bright and colourful. I'm not sure if I'm going to fix it, and if I do, how I would fix it. Like I said, I think I'm going to go with a brighter green on his trousers. But we'll just see how he ends up. I think that's the best bet in this scenario. So that is the Sand Golem now complete. And as you can see, the mouse's nose and face is definitely blending into his face. Can't be helped. It seems like trying to paint this in the right way is going to make it look weird. But I think we're just going to have to live with it. This is an old model. They didn't really care about the colors that you would have to paint stuff. They were just making stuff out of the, the comic books. But we'll see what we can do in the final stages. This probably will be a model that I do a little bit of extra work on after I've got him to a tabletop standard. So when you see the glamour shots at the end, he may look different to the final image that you see on this video. But that can't really be helped, I think. Sometimes you just got to do it the way that feels right for you. So hardened leather is going on next. Going to pick out some belts. I think I'm going to have to use this on his fur. Like once again, it's a light shade of brown, but I think if I go darker, it might look stupid. I'm just, it's a very dark brown, I guess, natural colored model, which can't be helped, but uh, it's, it's not what I like to do traditionally. Got to be honest. Okay, I sat for a minute and decided I gotta go darker on the rat. I can't go hardened leather. It's gonna be too earthy brown if I do that. So I grabbed the dark wood. I'm, I'm, uh, sometimes you paint a model and you have an idea in your head and then the paint hits the model and I'm just like, this isn't working. So I've decided to not, f um, well, I say not follow my gut instinct. But my gut is telling me not to use hardened leather to go darker. Makes sense now that I'm looking at it. I think the darker brown is definitely going to work out for me. It's going to help it stand out. I think the hardened leather would blend into that sand golem tail 
it would blend into the Crusader skin tone. But at the same time, I'm looking at this and it's just, it's very earthy looking model. He's gonna look very dark compared to his uh, companions, who are a lot more brighter and uh, more colourful looking. This is meant to be the leader, the character. I just don't know if I'm doing the right thing here. Maybe I'm just going through the ugly stage of the model and I'm just going to have to force my way through. Like I mentioned, I'm probably going to have to do some extra steps before I take the glamour shots. Maybe add some highlights in. Make him look a bit more correct, I guess, is the term we should use. Hmm. Right, last step, runic grey. We're going to use this on the pistol and any metallics that he's got on him. He doesn't actually have that much, so I think it's pretty much going to be just his pistol. And I'm going to slap that on, and I think we're going to let it dry. We'll probably do some highlights off camera. But I think I've got him to a tabletop standard where he's usable in-game. But as a leader, I think I need to do a few more steps with him. So let me get on with that, and then we'll take the glamour shots, and we'll finish this video off. It's probably a good time to say like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Leave me a mouse in the comments below, and I'll pin the first person who does it to the top. And I do appreciate you stopping by. If you're looking for more Judge Dread content, be sure to join our Discord group. Uh, there'll be stuff in the description below on how to join there, or follow the link in the last clip of this video also have a coffee club if you want to buy me a cup of coffee anybody doing that will get a character in sector 102 i'll let you pick who you want to be and i'll try and find a model and get you painted up and get you into the game but until the next video cheers for watching